Hello my dear fashionista, welcome back to Yvonne Winifrey UG. So these are some of the gypsy or the Caribbean skirt and they are the inspiration of today's tutorial. So sit back, relax, get your pen and paper, get your fabric and let's start the video. So if this is your first time here, kindly subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are notified whenever i upload a new video so when it comes to a gypsy skirt guys it can be in a number of layers that you want so today i'm going to work with only three layers and this is the first one so it is folded into two as you've seen and according it is according to the hip measurement that i'm working with which is 42 inches and i've just divided 42 inches into two so here on fold i have about 21 inches plus one inch as the sewing allowance so this is 22 but it is on fold guys and on top here this being the first piece this is going to be the waistline and on top of this the waistline will be you know uh gathered so that it fits you know the exact waistline that you're going to use this piece is going to be divided into two i have front and i have the back that's why i'm using the the hip measurement so i'll just be gathering it up by an elastic so the full length of this piece is 40 inches and because i'll be using an elastic band i left i have to add two inches on top of that waistline where i'll pass the elastic and from there guys i uh, remember now from the 40 when we remove two inches we have 38 inches so i divided the 38 inches into three parts to get my skirt pieces so i have this first one this is the second one and the other is the last one so they are three pieces so now let us start with the measurements this first one i used uh 10 inches for its length so i used 10 inches but i have to add half inch at the top here and half inch at the bottom to attach it to the other second one so here i have 11 inches for the past and uh, for the first uh, piece so now at the top i have 22 inches and even at the bottom i have 22 inches so i'll gather that anyway here i have 22 inches as you see and it is going to be multiplied by two the 22 inches will be multiplied by two to get 44 inches so that i use the 44 inches to cut the second piece I think you're getting me guys this will also be gathered up so that it can match up with the first piece like this i think you get it the first piece won't be gathered so guys it is also folded into two the second piece 44 inches in in width is also folded into two and i'll be separating it into two actually let me just do it even now i'm doing this just because when making gathers guys when it is a very very wide piece it gets too it gets tricky to be gathered up because sometimes your thread can even break up and you cannot you know you just repeat the whole process so for that i just decide, decided to cut my pieces into two front separate and the back separate but if you can mm, do your gathers together just do that so the second piece is 13 inches in length and i added half an inch for attaching it to the first one and also uh, another half inch to attach it to the last one the third piece so these are also two front and back together it is 44 inches each is 44 45 their inches it is they are two guys remember they are two so also from this one that is 44 inches i multiplied it by two 
and I got 88 inches. So this third piece, the last one, is 88 inches. That is on fold. So the back is 88 inches and the front is also 88 inches. But guys, if you don't have all this much fabric, you can use, you can multiply your pieces by one and a half inches. It can also be okay. So me, I'm, I was all, I was multiplying by two, but you can do one and a half inches. So these are all my pieces. First one, this which is 11 inches. This one, which is about 15 inches plus the allowances. Then this third one is about, let me show you. It's about uh, 15 inches, but I added half an inch on top here for to attach it to the second one after gathering it up and at the bottom I have some hemming allowance of about two inches so this one is all about uh, 17 inches in length so these are all my pieces the first one second one and then also the third one like that if you have any questions please go on i'll answer you thank you so let's move on so now guys i'm here at the sewing machine and at the sewing machine if you have a sewing machine that is like mine use the loosest stitch at your sewing machine the loosest stitch at your sewing machine and just run it uh just run a straight stitch the loosest stitch and you will get those two threads like this let me show you pick one thread separate these two and pick one thread and then start pushing or pulling pushing the fabric into the middle so that it is all gathered up to the length of width that you want so here we are guys Remember the first piece won't be gathered with, uh, but it, it will just be gathered by an elastic at the waistline. So here it is. Suppose this is our front. So now I've made gathers all around the second piece, which is 44, which was 44 inches prior. But now it is gathered up to the 22 for the front. So I'll just first take these two pieces right sides facing each other make them align together properly like this and run a straight stitch of about half an inch and i'll join my first layer to the second layer like that so it will look like this and then i'll gather up the third layer and also attach it to the second layer i've already uh, stitched my straight stitch the loosest stitch and now i can just gather up this piece and attach it to the second layer so it is only the for each layer like the second and the third it's only it's top piece that is gathered you don't gather the two sides like Think you get what i mean so this is done and now the third layer is also gathered i'm just going to attach it to the second layer to form the full front piece two thousand years later so now guys after attaching front and back together like the same way this is a simple skirt this is what i have so this is how it looks like and now i'm just going to take my two pieces right sides facing each other front and back remember they are all like the same similar i'm just going to take them and take in the sides like join the sides by half an inch so that i start gathering it up to form the elastic so guys this is it after sewing joining the sides i left this piece all this part open 
because I have to join the waistband on top here. Remember, we use the hip measurement of 42 inches. And now for the waistband, on fold it is 2 inches, unfolded it is 4. So I'll use half an inch to attach it to the main skirt. And my elastic is about one and a quarter inches, so it will be able to pass through that one and a half inch waistband properly and that will be all so i'm just going to fold my elastic band into two and i'll just attach it to this top piece so the top layer of the skirt all at the waistline like this so by half an inch all round and then I'll take this skirt so that I'll pass my elastic and that will be all. So this is it. This is the elastic. This elastic is the entire waist measurement I'm working with about the waist measurement is about 30 inches minus a few inches. So it is, the elastic band is about 26 inches, 25. And I'm going to pass it through all this uh waistband that is about 44 inches all together and after everything this is the skirt so it is so simple you can make it it is beginner friendly you can make it anytime if you're on the run you can make it rock it and you go on so this is the hemline and you can use the same method to make a dress that is like this it is a simple free cut i hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in any of my other videos